right, on this video, we're going to be taking this wonderful piece of steel right here and turning it into an actual usable knife. Um, last time we uh, etched it, got it nice and pretty. And now I'm going to take a 1,000 and 1,200 grit and get the uh, rest of the residue off of it. And I got the handle material already gluing together. So all we have to do is put it all on and drill it out and turn it into a knife and make it functional. All right. Uh, happy that you're here. Make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Thank you. Here we go. Today we're making uh, handles. We've already done our sanding. So everything's all leveled out here. The tang is full. Uh, we got our marks sitting on our block ready to cut out. So we're going to go ahead and drill down here according to these marks. Make sure it's even on the top. Then we're going to insert the tang to make sure it's flush. And we're going to put a top on it. I don't remember where I put it. That hurt. And it's around here somewhere. I have a beautiful Damascus uh, extra piece that I have. Yeah, here it is. Right here. So I'm going to be drilling this out right there on the square so it can fit up nice and flush where we cut this out. It's going to be a great day. All right. Like, thanks. Once again, thank you for joining us. Like and subscribe and leave a comment. Three, two, one.
shaped out. I think it's beautiful. Got the blue liner in there. Has a you know, flat top. And I like the uh, shape of this. I rounded out the sides instead of going flat. So it does have a nice comfort in the handle. I did a little something different on here. I put a little kickstand there. Uh, I think it's good for a pinky placement. Uh, I don't know. I just thought it was a little bit different. So I wanted to put it on there. Now to finish it off, because I have a wide opening for the tang to go in there, I'm going to put one of these guys on there. I think it's called a Subiaki. I think so. I have, I have to look that up. So I cut it out on the bandsaw, and I've almost got it there. And as soon as I glue it on, and I'm gonna turn it on the, uh, the sander to make sure it all goes in. But I first gotta glue it up. All right, and then I'll meet you back here. All right, like everything I do, I got out the old boiled linseed oil, and I'm starting to rub this down. We got the uh, copper piece fitted, put on there, nice and stable. I used a little, uh, instead of uh, epoxy resin, I've been using uh, to put my segmented pieces together, all right here, like the liner and these two pieces. I've been using uh, CA glue, uh, Kethra Strychnine or something like that. I forget what the heck it's called. Uh, but I, I, it, it, it cures a lot quicker, and uh, I think the seal's a little bit tighter. But yeah, like I said, I love the linseed. It gives it a wonderful smell and the shine that comes off of it, especially wood, is just unforgettable. Let's see, oh, can't really, uh, let me see if I can turn the camera just a little bit, get out of that light. Let's see, oh yeah. It's like, it's like it's dipped in varnish. I just love it. Let me tell you what, if you get one of my knives, you'll understand when it comes out of the box and the way it smells is just natural. Oh, look at that. It's even got, it's casting a reflection. Oh my goodness. So yeah, that's, uh, that's about going to be it. I'm going to fasten this down to the uh, knife. Uh, I'm going to use a technique uh, that a lot of, I've seen a lot of YouTubers do. So. I'm just gonna cut little notches in there so the epoxy has something to really grip and hold on to. Let's go over there and go ahead and do that.